Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. Got a viewer letter today, actually two letters from two different viewers asking about the same question. And it's something I don't think I've ever covered. And basically it boils down to, can I screw up my tractor's hydraulic system by putting a foreign attachment on the tractor? In other words, connecting a hydraulically powered attachment on the tractor that came from somewhere else. Let's get to the letters. First letter today comes from Price. And he's a new tractor owner, and he says he's still learning, but his question is, he says, I have the basic implements, including a grapple. Obviously, I cannot buy every attachment I will ever need, and it makes more sense to rent the attachments as needed. However, it concerns me that if you rent an attachment with hydraulics, when you connect it to your tractor, you're blending your tractor hydraulic fluid with whatever's in the cylinders, hoses, and hydraulic motors on the rented attachment. You have no way of knowing what fluid is contained in that attachment or what kind of contamination might be contained in that fluid. Am I overthinking this problem or is my concern valid? What is your thinking on the issue? And then a second letter comes from Mike. And Mike's going a little different direction. He's not going to the rental yard. He's going to a friend. He says, if I borrow an implement from a friend, can or will his hydraulic fluid contaminate my system? What kind of people you're running around with, Mike? They got nasty hydraulic fluid in their tractor, Ugh. and you're going to co-mingle them? Well, the answer to both questions is technically yes. Whatever hydraulic fluid is in those cylinders and hoses is going to migrate through your tractor and, and become a part of your hydraulic fluid. Now, is that a reason not to do it? Well, I don't think so. And what I'm going to do today first is go into the computer and show you how much fluid is in a system. And I don't think it's something to worry about, but is it a possibility? Yes. So let's go into the computer and try to calculate on a typical attachment how much hydraulic oil is in that cylinder and in the hoses that's going to come back into your tractor hydraulic system. Let's go inside. For those of you that watch my channel a lot have probably seen me use this attachment. It's a tree puller. Uh, it's made by Precision Manufacturing in Sedalia, Missouri. I sell them on my website and it's something I've owned for maybe two or three years. I use it to pull up uh, undesirable trees, rose bushes, uh, thorn trees, different things like that uh, back in my woods. And it's a, an attachment we're going to use today as a sample to talk about how much oil is contained in the hydraulic system on an attachment like this. Now the tree puller has a 3 by 8 hydraulic cylinder, which is fairly common in the ag industry, and here's one online that's for sale. It's a three inch bore by eight inch stroke hydraulic cylinder. And if you if you look down here below, that particular hydraulic cylinder has 0.98 quarts of oil in it. So four quarts in a gallon, it's got about a quarter of a gallon of oil in this hydraulic cylinder. So remember that. Okay, now we're going to calculate how much oil is in the hydraulic hoses. And this is not going to be exact. Those of you that are real anal about your, uh, your volumes are not going to like this, but we're just going to kind of get in the ballpark. And I found this pipe volume calculator online. And of course, this is not a pipe, it's a hose. But uh, hopefully this will get us in the ballpark of how much oil is in the hoses. Well, first off, we've got to know what the inside diameter of the hose is in inches. And the hose is actually a 3 8 inch hose. So if math is, uh, if I remember my math right, if I take 3 and divide it by 8, that'll tell me the inches of hose inside diameter. And that's 0.375. So we're going to enter that over here in the inches, 0.375. Now, my tree puller, of course, has two hoses on it, one to extend the ram and one to retract the ram. And uh, it's got one hose that's 89 inches long, and you add that to the other hose, which is 99 inches long, which means I've got a total of 188 inches of hose. And if I want to find out how many feet that is, I divide that by 12, and that tells me I've got 15.66 uh, feet of hose. So I'm going to go over here and enter 15.66, and that tells me I've got 
0.09 gallons of oil in those hoses. Now that's not exact, but that's close. So figure I've got almost a quart of uh, oil in the cylinder and about a tenth of a, of a gallon of oil in the hoses. So that would be what a total of 0.35 gallons. So basically pretty darn close to a third of a gallon of oil in the system that is going to go into the rest of my tractor if I borrow or rent this attachment from somebody. And the total volume of my tractor uh, of hydraulic oil in it is 9.6 gallons. So basically I've got a, about a third of a gallon. So let's say that I've got 0.35 gallons in the tree puller and I'm going to divide that by 9.6, which is the total uh, amount of, of hydraulic oil in my tractor. That means I'm, I'm putting about almost 4% contaminated oil or oil of non, unknown origin back in the tractor. So that's, uh, that's what I'm, I'm putting in. And that's a pretty negligible amount. So the bottom line is, with a small volume of oil that's going to come out of the hydraulic attachment into your tractor, and the fact that your tractor's got some kind of a hydraulic filter there to catch any contaminants, I think your danger is really low. Now, if you're concerned about it, a couple of things you could do. Number one, change your hydraulic filter more often. Change the oil after you use rented or borrowed attachments. Just get it all out of there and put new oil in. I don't worry as much about hydraulic oil as probably I should. And I'll tell you, my father was not a big maintenance guy, and I take after him a little bit. The fruit didn't fall too far from the tree. My dad called me one time when I was working at the dealership, and he said, my three-point quit working. And I said, well, Dad, when's the last time you changed your hydraulic filter? And his answer to me was, I don't think this tractor has a hydraulic filter. I'm like, Dad, I'm pretty sure it does have a hydraulic filter. You might try changing it. So he went to get a new filter, brought it back, changed just the filter, not the oil, just the filter, and the three points started working again. I guess it, that filter was completely clogged. And it's a tractor he used, we sold after he passed away, and as far as I know, it's still running good. So hydraulic systems are pretty forgiving in terms of contaminants. Now, most of the time, anybody that owns attachments to make them last longer and to keep their tractor hydraulic system from getting contaminated, and I think rental yards by and large will do this, if they get a, a, a hydraulic powered attachment back and it's all dirty around the uh, plug-ins, uh, the uh, couplers, they're going to clean that off and, and, and make sure that that doesn't get in the system. Now, if you're got a neighbor that just lets dirt get around those and plugs them in with dirt on them and you sure don't want to borrow his attachments but most people are pretty good about keeping those clean because they realize any dirt that goes in there is going in the tractor's hydraulic system and that's not good so if it were me I wouldn't worry about it maybe uh, like I said if you're going to use a lot of rented or borrowed attachments change your filter and or oil more often. Appreciate you watching my videos. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd be honored. Click the mic face icon, check the bell, so you're notified when I post future videos. Here's a link to my website and the Tractor Fun Store with some really cool items for sale for the tractor owner, and we're adding to that all the time. And here's another video you might want to watch. Thanks for watching.